Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today we're going to do the binding in the album that we're currently working on. We're doing two separate bindings. We are doing the regular binding here and then we're going to be doing the uh, accordion elastic binding here. Uh, we did the covers in the last video. Pretty sure it was the last video. <laughs> And it's in the playlist for this album. And this is the Time of Wonders uh, album that we're making. And this is the paper collection that we're using, which is why it's called Time of Wonders. I have a whole video playlist just for this album, beginning to end, start to finish. I will put it up here in the cards and down below in the description box so you don't miss a beat. What's really cool about the playlist is that you can go to that playlist and you can hit play. And if you've already seen that video, you just skip to the next. If you've seen that one, skip to the next. Seen that one, skip to the next. And that way you stay in order so you never get lost. You don't lose a step. Also, I wanted to remind you, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section in order to be entered into win the giveaway. It, I talked about it in the prep video for this album. And uh, you have to be a subscriber. So make sure you're subscribed and you turn that bell notification on. And you have to leave a comment. That way I can pull you into the comment picker at the end of this. Uh, album that we make. Okay, so there'll be two winners um, and I'll, I'll pick two separate videos by random. I'll have my son pick two separate videos randomly and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so we are using the Basically Amazing Foundations in the Ornament Background Design and the Basically Amazing Add-on Scrap Journal in the Ornament Background Design and I'll have all of it linked in the description box or the show, show more section down there. The drop down box and there'll be timestamps. So if you want to skip to the second binding, we're going to do the easiest binding first, the one we'd use a lot, and then we're going to do the elastic uh, accordion binding. I have a separate video on that as well, uh, where I just talked about that binding, and I will link that up there and down below. So when I first released the scrap journal add-on, uh, that's when I did that video. I also have a playlist where my favorite bindings, I put all my favorite bindings in there. If you guys want to check that out, I'll actually link that instead of the specific elastic binding video. I'll link that playlist up there. Okay, so here's what we're going to need. Just two things uh, to print out. Out of the Basically Amazing Foundations, we're going to need page six. So I printed page six out, and I've already cut it um, and prepped it. So it looks like this, and I printed it in the ornament, whoops, actually, looks like this. <laughs> I printed it in the new ornament background design, and I just trimmed it top, bottom, and cut the, we don't need this piece right now, we might use it to mat later, but I trimmed this away, and I trimmed these pieces away, and all you need is this piece right here. So I've already cut it, scored it, and I inked it on the white side. This is just on white cardstock, 80 pound white cardstock. I have it linked in that special Amazon list that I have just for this project, also in the description box, show more section, or the arrow down section, whatever you want to call it. They make it so hard. They change it up so much. They make it so hard to, to describe to you what it is. Um, but anyway, so I've already, and I, uh, what did I do? I inked it up, I scored it, and I put a piece of tape. This is half inch a cherry on top tape. I'll have it linked down below. And I'm going to put these in my Crafty Companion over here okay so that's all you need from the basically amazing foundations and then in the basically amazing add-on scrap journal you will need page this is like this i printed the four binding pages on one page so this is four to a page but you will need page 6.4 in the accordion binding whoops in the uh, basically amazing scrap journal and the reason they're 6.1, 6.2, 6.3, 6.4 is these pages coordinate with the foundations. So page six is the binding for the foundations, but um, I have four different bindings here. So they're all the accordion. Whoa, dang it, there's that wasp again. This is the next day. What were you like in hiding? What, what's going on? I just found it. I mean, he just came out of nowhere. I just found him. Holy moly, where was, where was he? He's gonna, I swear, go away. It's almost like he's like, save me. Please go away. Oh, I'm sorry. Whew. Okay, 
Wow, that was a little traumatic. <laughs> Whew. I, I don't even know what my train of thought was. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, so you just need page 6.4 and in your PDF, it won't be page 6.4. The PDF page won't be 6.4. You need to look on the page itself. You need to go through your PDF and look on the page itself. So like this next page is page 27, but it's not 27 in the PDF, right? It'll be page, like this will be the first page. This will be two, three, four, or five. And this will be six, if that makes sense. So go on the page number on the page, not the page number on the PDF. Okay. Ah, anyways. All right. So I've already uh, cut this out. I printed it onto white cardstock, 80 pound cardstock, and it was like this. Um, and I just cut top bottom, cut the side off, and we're good to go. Okay, I haven't done anything to the back side of that because it's that one's a little bit more involved. All right, so let's go ahead and add the first binding, the regular to this bigger spine, the first spine. So we're just going to actually, since it's ready to go, we are going to line one edge of, we're going to lay, lay it flat, right, because there's only tape in the middle. Let me just go ahead and take the tape off. There's only tape in the middle. And we are going to lay it flat to decide where to put it. This it'll just help us, it'll just make it easier. So I'm gonna I'm going to top and bottom, I'm gonna center it as best I can, but I'm gonna line it up right to that chipboard edge, right there to that um, spine chipboard edge. And just gonna lay it there and then I'm gonna press it down. Oh, I should have made sure Whew. it's the right side up. This one does have a direction. <laughs> I thought I'd just done it wrong. Okay. Oh, I did do it wrong. Oh, no. Well, you know what? It's okay. I'm going to leave it. It's really not going to be that noticeable. And these will, these will be covered up. These fins here will be covered up. So it'll just be the center part. I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it. I should have left it. I mean, I shouldn't, it, I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so since I put that on upside down, we'll just have to mat it. No big deal. All right, so that's that simple. So then you've got all this space here, but remember, this is going to be here. So you didn't want to add, um, you might be able to add an, an extra page from using the binding. You may, if you want to. You may be able to add one here if you want to. But we wanted to just make sure there was room for the interactive scrapbook album part and the scrap journal part that's going to be here okay all right so let's put this aside and let's do the elastic binding all right first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to take a regular row corner punch my jiggy and i'm going to notch these little pieces here and this is where the elastic is going to fit in. And this is just a regular, did I already say that? Just a regular paper punch, paper uh, hole punch. Jeez. All right. Then I, whoa. Goodness gracious. Go over there. Go over there. I'm having a time. My grandbabies are coming today. I'm so excited. Okay. Then we're going to score this. I'm going to score it a little bit different than I did the original one. We're going to score all the lines. This is a We Are Memory Keepers scoreboard. Make sure I got it on there straight. And then when it comes to these, the ones that we have the notches, we're going to score that. But I'm going to go an eighth of an inch before it and score. I'm going to go an eighth of an inch after it to score. I think this will help wrap around the elastic a little better. So this is the test. I haven't tried it yet. This is the test. So again, in the part that's going to be the peak, I'm going to score that line. We're going to go an eighth of an inch before, an eighth of an inch after. And then score the other ones just the same. Okay. All right. So let's prep those score marks. 
even the eighth of an inch one. You don't have to like go crazy with it, with prepping. Oops. Because you kind of want it to like round over a little bit. So again, I didn't do that last time when I showed you how to do this binding, but I think it'll help. So we'll see. This will we'll, we'll, this will be the determining uh, video here, whether or not it'll work, or if it helps, or if it matters. Okay. So I've got everything prepped. So then I want to take and make my peaks a little bit more. like this and I'm going to turn it to its side. I want to burnish it a little bit. The same with this peak. Okay. Let's see, what do I need to do first? Now I need to do, I need to add some tie back. Um, I guess I could just, so this is where the elastic is gonna go. So you guys can see it a little better. And I wanna add tie back in those two spaces, okay? So I'm gonna grab a strip of tie back and I'm going to just a roundabout, I'm going to mark it, the height, and then I'm going to shorten it just a little bit. So, right, this is Tyvek, this is what we used on the binding, I mean on the spine pieces. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some tape, I'm going to find some tape. What is this? It's just three fourths of an inch scrapbook.com tape. I'm going to take this and I'm going to, I need two strips. So I'm just going to take it from one edge and I guess I'll just stop where the pencil line is. I can come back and shorten it. So I'm going to put one strip down. I'm going to go right next to it and do the next strip. This way you don't have to measure anything. We can just trim it. Okay. Get my paper trimmer out. Actually, it'd be easier just to use a craft knife. because you just go right up next to that tape. Like that. I'm going to cut this off. Matter of fact, I think what I'll do is I'm just going to line it up here and I will cut it from notch to notch, because you don't you don't have to have it go over go over the notch area. So I'm going to mark it, and then we'll just cut that off. That'll be the easiest. All right, and now I'm going to split it in half right between the two pieces of tape. Okay, so I'm gonna take the tape backing off and we're gonna literally apply it right there where we made those, those three scores together. That's where we're gonna apply it. I feel like I've got a piece of hair on me. Okay, so I'm just going to try to center it. And I'm just going to 
walk it down. Yeah. As long as you get that center portion, you are good to go. No, this is just, what is that when you feel like you got a hair on you, but there's nothing there? Like, isn't that something like a, a skin thing or another a sensation of something that's not there? I feel like that's what's going on with my finger. So there's that. All right, so then you'll also need to go back and reinforce that faux. So you want the Tyvek to fold nicely. You don't want it to really crack anything because it's thicker. It does add some thickness to it. So there's that. So then the next thing we want to do is add some tape. And I don't know where my tape is. Well, my quarter of an inch tape, my scrapbook.com quarter of an inch tape is not here. I wonder where it went. So I'm gonna use my Sue Quain or my Score Pal, Score Tape, whatever. Okay, so let me scoot you in. What I want you to do is you need to put tape where we, the same spots we put the Tyvek, but you need to put the tape on this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece. And you do not want to go past the score line on either side of that piece. So you want to get as close as you can to it, but don't go over it. So we're going to put a piece. You'll be able to see better once these, once the tape is done. And I hope you can see. I'm not, I don't usually have you this close. And then on this side, I think in the original video too, I used three eighths of an inch tape. So this, again, I'm doing a different, <laughs> I guess it, we'll just see if it matters. This is quarter of an inch, so it's a little bit smaller. There's always room for improvement, right? You can always perfect things a little better with more knowledge, you know? The more you do it, the more you see where it could be improved and whatnot. So, that's kind of what I'm doing. Okay, so we want to burnish that really, really good. Whoops. All right, so we've got this part here, we've got a quarter of an inch where the gusset's gonna be, quarter of an inch tape, the three-fourths inch Tyvek, quarter of an inch tape, quarter of an inch gusset, quarter of an inch tape, three-quarters of an inch Tyvek, quarter of an inch tape, quarter of an inch gusset, and then the extra little wing. All right, let me scooch you back out. This is white elastic. I guess you could use black if you wanted. I have both black or white. I'll put both of them in my Amazon list for this. And what you want to do is, let me grab my scissors. I was cutting wax beads the other day with it, so. You want two lengths plus some. I did two and a half before and I think uh, it was too much. So you just want two of these. And like I said before, I like the white because you can change it to whatever color you want. You know, you can ink it to whatever color you want it to be. So I like using white, but if you don't want to, you could use black. And I'm sure it comes in other colors as well. So what you want to do is take your elastic, put it into that area where you've got the notches, right? And then you kind of just want to loosely tie it around front. You, don't, you just want it to kind of hold into place. So I'm just going to do like a quick little double knot here. Right, you just kind of want it hold, want it to hold into place. And do the other one. These can be tightened up once it's all in the album. Okay. There we go. Okay. 
so uh, it's tight enough to where it bends it just a little bit but it doesn't have to be that tight okay <laughs> so flip it over and we're going to close this up so let's just pick a side well i guess we could let's do this first let's do before we before we close it let's just do like a little bit of a prep trying to help the paper do what it needs to do for us okay all right so pick a side we're going to remove the tape off to the one on each side the tape backing off of each side of this cording and then we are going to hopefully that cording will not move I'm trying to keep my sleeve out of the way here so we're going to attach the two pieces of tape together and then we want to burnish i'm going to grab my bigger burnisher bigger burnisher and burnish it down just like that and there we go <laughs> i was like what is it stuck down to the wrong spot it's not and so i'm going to open it up there and burnish this down So then I'm going to kind of flip that over and burnish that a little. All right, we just want we just want it to be flexible. So now we have that one closed, right? Perfect. That worked out really nicely. Okay, so that was a good idea. So far, so good when it comes to the extra scoring. Kind of rounded that edge a little bit better than it's not so pointy. All right, let's do this then. Same thing, remove the two tape backings. All right, so now we have it finished. Okay, so now both of our fins are closed up and we have the elastic in there and we're good to go. Now we need to add some tape to here. And it's bigger than two inches, so I might use this four inch piece, or four inch roll. And I did order me some more full sheets of the um, eight and a half by 11 size. I ordered it just today, actually. Uh, the day of filming. Okay, I need my What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it this way, I think. I think. We'll see. <laughs> and I'm going to try to get this on here as flat as possible. Oh, oh, and try not to touch it with your hand because you will get stuck to it. So, oh, and I'm stuck to it. Okay, there we go. We got that. We got that. We got that. Do a quick little burnish. We don't want it to move. Okay. Yep, that was probably easiest. So now we got that big old leftover piece. That's okay. Because it can be used. Let me grab my little sheet. It can be used for something else. Never throw away your tape scraps. Ever. Ever. I mean, the little pieces probably aren't that useful for a lot of things, but you never, never know. Waste not, want not. And that was so sweet when I checked my P.O. box. I don't check my P.O. box as often as I should, you guys. So, um, I haven't had time to sit down and re you know say thank you to everybody who has sent me some pretty things but i did watch let me show you something just real quick because i do have something right here that is adorable this is from kelly her name is kelly if it's not kelly uh, then i've messed something up look at she made a little miniature 
Wanderlust. It says Wanderlust book printed four per page. Look at this. Come on, camera. Oh my gosh. Look at. Look. Is this not the cutest? It's a little miniature. She's got little miniature wax seals. Look at this little miniature photo flip, you guys. I can't. I can't. It's adorable. Okay. Anyway, I just had to share, and it's really funny because I have something that sits next to me all the time, and this is a little mini stack the deck, I believe. Little mini stack the deck album that I did forever and a day ago. Oops, it's upside down. <laughs> and I did the same thing. I just printed it so many to a page. But isn't this precious? Isn't this so adorable? Okay. All right. Moving on. <laughs> I just thought that was so stinking cute, you guys. It's so cute. Okay. Let me, let me show you the rest of it really quick. But isn't that cute? It's kind of cute. Okay. But yeah, I love it. It's adorable. Does she have, oh my gosh, look it. Watch this. Boop. Oh! <laughs> you are so loved. That is so adorable. Anyway, yeah, I'm like a little kid. Look at, look at that tiny little envelope in there too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyway, is this not adorable? It's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love it. Okay. Anyway. Okay. I'll have to put this up. We're never going to get done. But anyway, I have a whole bunch of people I need to contact and say thank you and stuff too. So I do apologize if you're one of those people. I've got them. I've got them close by. Well, some of them. Some of them are downstairs and I don't know why they're downstairs, but I've got them close by so I can... Uh, say thanks. Oh, look at the little key and a little heart tassel. Oh, that's so cute. And I love the little wax seals, the little mini wax seals. Adorable. Just adorable. What do we got here? What's on the front? Oh, a little envelope. I don't know. It's so cute, you guys. Okay. Well, here, I'll just leave it sitting here just because it's cute. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Now that I've been uh, sidetracked long enough. <laughs> I'm going to ink this top and this bottom like this before I add the, um, add this to the book. All right, so we got it all. Did I already, I already smooshed it down. Yeah. Okay. Let's grab our book and, or our cover, I'm sorry. And what we're going to do is we're going to line up this piece or that line and this line onto the spine. It should fit perfectly onto that spine and you just need to um, top and bottom, you know, get it centered top and bottom. Almost did it upside down again. Um, and we're going to attach the wings down too. So um, it just gives it a little bit more stability because you're going to be pulling this in and you know, you're going to be pulling on this a little bit. So you don't want, um, you want to have as much security as you can. Okay. So I'm going to try to line this up on the top and then on the bottom, like so best I can. And before I let it go, I am going, before I let both sides go, I'm going to try to get it in that ditch there. All right? Just like that. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. My sleeve's getting in the way. that down really good. Okay. So now we have 
we have our elastic and I'm not going to tighten it up. Just, well, I guess I could. No, I'm not going to tighten it up just yet. I'm just going to leave it like it is for now. Come on, camera. There we go. So we, now we got our two fins with the elastic accordion elastic binding on it. Okay. And then we got our two fins over here, just the regular. So we're going to be adding the uh, tabs of the main base pages to these, uh, to these fins. Okay. So... All right, you guys, that was easy. That was fun. I only got sidetracked once or twice. No big deal. Uh, but I'm super excited. It turned out perfect. I think this is going to be a fun, fun, let's see what it looks like uh, standing up. I think this is going to be a fun project. So we're kind of learning this together. We're kind of playing it by ear. Ooh, now we're going to have to reinforce this uh, paper memory here so that it'll fold. Now that we've added another layer of paper. Yeah, look it, it's gonna be so cool, you guys. I'm so excited. It's gonna be fun. All right, okay, all right. That's the whole, that's all I got for you today. So anyway, all right, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment so you're entered into win. Well, just leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Even if you don't wanna win, you can always say, I don't want to be entered into the into the giveaway, um, but let me know what you're thinking. Let me know which uh, uh, binding you like better. Be sure to give me a thumbs up too if you like this video, and don't forget to be subscribed. Don't forget to turn the bell notification on. Don't forget to check out all the description box information, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, and thanks for joining me today. I'll see you guys next time.